Hey everybody, this is Tony. And this is Paul. We're coming at you from the Friends for Life podcast, where we discuss the ongoing lives and issues of people with developmental disabilities to spark positive change in the field. And we have a lot of fun doing it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Friends for Life podcast. As you can see, we are not in the Friends for Life studio right now because, Tony, where are we? Dude, right now we're in Michigan, but guess what? All through Ohio, man, we are about to be traveling. Yes, like, yes. I'm, I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> I'm super excited. Like, listen, listen, folks, this was not an easy decision to make, but we have to be real. Paul and I, we call everyone we can we send emails text messages we try to collab but now we have to run up on you is what we, <laughs> what we are calling it where i'm from and like we need to be able to see what is going on at least in the state of ohio right now in the dd world and that's that's where we're going i mean how excited are you though I, I mean, people probably don't know this, but my background, I love to travel. I've always traveled. I just got back from Texas two days yeah, ago Matthew, traveling. Yeah, yeah, dude. Got the cowboy boots on. Get it. But uh, He yeah. had to break them in for like a week and a half, and he looked very uncomfortable doing it. It was a little painful. <laughs> but, but yeah, traveling is one of my favorite things. And, you know, Zoom is great. During the yeah. pandemic, it was great. It allowed people to connect. But Tony and I are people people yeah we need to be around folks so we we thought it would be the best option to be able to go visit people in person Mm -hmm. and tony has just simultaneously had a passion for camping yeah well i I don't know if it's more of a passion (laughs) as it yeah as it is uh um I'm, i'm 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 more i'm interested interested i you know i want to see what it is as i've you know, I grew up in the inner city, man. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm a city kid to the to the fullest. I'm well aware. But I always love astronomy. Yeah. And with astronomy, you can't see the stars and things the same way mm-hmm. that you can um you know, in, in a place with less light pollution. Mm-hmm. And the, that's the, one of the reasons I live where I live. Yes. It it is a very open and the lower light lighter polluted area Mm -hmm. but i mean really when you get to an area that is so just open to the stars to the people to the i mean it it changes the vibe It, it it truly does and i'm slowly getting into it um i i and look anybody listening or watching right now i will say you got to get out of your comfort zone yeah you know, um, as we've said before, get comfortable being uncomfortable because mm-hmm. that is when you will you can relate better to people. You can see the things that others see in, in, in their adventures in life. But well, and it just relates to the disability field. A lot of people are uncomfortable yeah. dealing around or, or working with people with disabilities. But yeah. If you do, it, it really enlightens your life, makes it a lot better. And this is just one more way we get to visit more people. Mm-hmm. We get to talk to more people. You know, it's easy to cancel on a Zoom call, but it ain't easy to cancel when we show up at your doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a whole like RV sitting out there like, yep. And we're set up to poop and pee and everything else. <laughs> like, what, what are we going to do? But, you know, somebody asked me, they were like, well, tell me, where are you, where are you planning on hitting first? And. I, I don't want to divulge that just yet. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want our first stops to be um, ruined uh, in anticipation. I want them to be surprises. I also want them to be multiple type of adventures. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to look at ADS. We're going to look at maybe some therapy. Mm-hmm. We're going to look at uh, residential. We're going to look at any and every aspect of county this boards. field. Yes, yes. Count, definitely the county boards. And look, y'all better close y'all doors. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't want the tough questions, <laughs> no, 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 no. Please open the door. <laughs> <laughs> we need the doors very wide open. But yes, we are. We do not have an exact date yet, but it will be here within the next month or two. We're going to be hitting the road. Uh, we have some logistical things we need to, uh, you know, kind of 
figure out but if you know places where that would be good for us to interview we're really asking for the community's help right now if you would like to be on the show let us know we'll let you know when we're coming to your area but we want to talk to you in person we want to talk to your individuals we want to learn about what we can do as friends for life podcast to help people with disabilities whether that be you know individuals Mm -hmm. and and we want to learn what we can do to help get more money in the field. A lot of people are talking. Lots of decisions are yes. made being in like the the political system. But as we all know, that's a slow process. We want to hear it from the people who need it, not just hearing it from the people who have the control, you know, in, in the political arena. So that's what we're trying to do. Boots on the ground activism is essentially what we're, we're after. Right Amen. Now. Amen. 100 percent. And to the families, you know, we're not going we are not coming out to to bash anybody. Mm -hmm. I want you all to know that, like, if there is a problem with your agency and you want to reach out to us and you want us to even talk to your agency or something. um, And I say this because this has happened recently. Someone called me and they said, well, this agency isn't doing that. No, we don't do that. Mm-hmm. Please do not call us bashing agencies. We are here to help. We are here to promote. We are here to collab. We are here to teach and show people better, better. It's not about their. They suck them. I, I don't compete with people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I don't compete because we are in our own lane. We we do what we do for the betterment of this field. Um, so I want that to be known to each and every single one of you out there. That we are here to help the best we can. Yeah, and you know, I think that this will be a whole new thing. We've neither of us have ever done anything like this yes. before, and we're very excited. <laughs> Super new. <laughs> and, with, and with excitement comes enthusiasm. With enthusiasm comes change. I just mm-hmm. made that up. Do I just came off my bars? Head. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, thank you everybody who's been on board with Friends for Life. I mean, we've been watching our numbers grow. It's been awesome. Our yes. YouTube channel has been growing. We've been hitting thousands of views. That's we never even thought we'd get hundreds of views, and we've every yeah. few episodes we're hitting two, three thousand views. So thank you all for that. We really appreciate that. Pre- yes, podcast is doing well, and we want to come to you and hear. What needs to happen? Because down the road, we want to take these episodes and use what was said by providers, by the boards, by everybody, by individuals themselves, and bring this to people who are in control and say, listen, we have thousands of hours of footage. Everybody's asking for this. It's not just a few people that show up at your doorstep with, you know, suits and ties. These are real people with real lives that are affected by real things they need help with. So... We appreciate everything everybody's done. And, you know, Tony, do you have any closing words before we wrap this up? The, the, the best I can give is thank you. I love you all for being advocates for what we do. Continue to be there. My hands are always, always clapping for the people who are beneath trying to get ahead. Um, so thank you very much again. Yeah, and thank you for watching or listening to the podcast. As always, it really helps us out, bring more awareness to people who have disabilities. That's our main goal. The only goal in mind is to help. So if you can, subscribe to the YouTube channel or you know, give us some ratings or reviews on iTunes. That really does help us get more attention. And if your organization needs more attention, you know who to call. My email is media at friendsforliferc.com. Shoot me an email. I'm on there 24 7 let me know what you're thinking and peace out everyone later Whoop.